Good morning. It is good to be with you today. It is Thursday, and uh, I hope you're doing well. Uh, let's get started with our devotion, all right? Psalm 37 is where we're at. And if I can, let's just look at one verse. The Bible says in verse 13, The Lord shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. The Lord laughing at someone. You know, that sounds a little, little odd, doesn't it? But what, what we're talking about here, the Lord laughing at someone, is, is because the someone are the wicked. And they have actually put themselves against the Lord as if they're going to beat the Lord, as they're going to defeat the Lord. And these wicked people are put themselves against God. They've, they are trying to destroy him. And the Bible says that though they plot and though they scheme and though they do all of this, they're not going to do anything against the Lord. I tell you, folks, how important it is that we learn that uh, to put ourselves in a position against God is never good. Of course, here it's the wicked, and they are determined to, to uh, uh, do everything they can to destroy the things of God. But according to what the Bible says, the, the Lord laughs at them, in other words, because of what they're doing, it is futile for them to do what they're doing. And because the Lord knows the, the day of their end, he knows their destruction. He knows that what they even do, the Bible says that they draw out their sword, but, but, but the Bible says that their sword shall enter into their own heart. And, 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 and they have bent their bow to cast down the poor and the needy and to slay such as be of an upright conversation. Obviously, these people are against the things of God. These people, the wicked, are against good people doing good things. And, and by way of application, may I encourage you and I as Christians because... Um, without a doubt, sometimes we can get, we can, we can lose sight of the direction that we're going. And so may I first of all say this, it's never good to put yourselves in opposition against God. Do you hear me? It just never is. May we always be willing to go the direction the Lord would have us to do, to actually think that we're smarter than God, to actually think that we, we, uh, are stronger than God is foolish. But not only that, folks, I tell you, God will protect his own. God will take care of the needy and God will take care of the poor. And, and so you and I ought to have an attitude that, that of respect and we ought to treat those that are uh, uh, misfortunate and those that maybe don't have things of this world, we are to treat those with respect and do all we can to help them, not, in this case, destroy them. I tell you, for you and I to think that we're better than someone else is never good. It never is. But without a doubt, we have a God that truly is always on the right side. God is always doing that which is right. And it would do us all good to make sure we're on the Lord's side. No, it's not that the Lord has to be on our side, but that we are on the Lord's side because no matter what, He is always right. And I want to encourage you today, as a child of God, may you and I be thankful that we are on the Lord's side. And if by chance we're not, why don't we get on the Lord's side as quickly as possible? Because there is no way that you or I or anyone 
could defeat God because God truly is stronger than we are. God is wiser than we are. But oh, what a blessing. What a blessing it is to trust the Lord. What a blessing it is to submit and to do what God would have us to do. That's what we ought to do. And so I guess in a way, may we all fear the Lord. May we all understand God is greater. And may we all do what he would have us to do. Come on. God is good. And God knows what is best for you and I. May you and I truly trust him. Let us pray. Father, thank you for the day. I pray, Lord, you'd bless us and keep us safe. And may we always, with reverence and, Lord, with fear, walk before you. Thank you so much for who you are. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Have a great day.